Burkina Faso's audacious actions mark a watershed moment in African leadership, signaling a call to break free from the historical grip of former colonial powers and reclaim control over their resources. It embodies the African continent's unified stance against exploitation, urging African leaders to emulate this defiance and assert sovereignty over their own wealth and governance. Captain Abraham Trior's action acts as a catalyst, awakening African leaders to the potency of their collective power and their ability to quickly counter exploitation if they work together. This seismic shift threatens to disrupt established power dynamics and challenges the status quo. It implies that if African leaders band together, the days of European former colonists manipulating African nations may be numbered. Burkina Faso's steadfast stance serves as a warning to colonial nations attempting to destabilize African sovereignty, indicating that any such efforts would face formidable resistance from the entire African continent, potentially marking a turning point in the continent's relationship with its colonial past. TR Media explores cutting-edge frontiers and transformative initiatives for new and curious audiences interested in the evolving global innovation landscape. We examine recent breakthroughs, providing in-depth coverage of their far-reaching global impact. External attempts to manipulate governance in a single nation will fail when confronted with the collective strength of the entire African continent. However, gold's transformative potential in Burkina Faso raises questions about its actual ability to affect change. Understanding the country's vast mineral wealth is critical in assessing its potential economic impact, particularly as Africa's fourth largest gold producer. Burkina Faso's diverse natural wealth is highlighted by resources such as cement, dolomite, granite, marble, phosphate rock, volcanic materials, and salt. While the presence of abundant resources, particularly gold, indicates economic potential, converting this wealth into tangible development and prosperity necessitates careful management, infrastructure investment, and long-term policies. Burkina Faso's mineral wealth provides opportunities for economic growth and development, but realizing its transformative potential is dependent on effective governance, responsible resource utilization, and equitable benefit distribution for the nation's advancement. Burkina Faso's position as the world's 14th largest gold producer, with a projected gold output of around 70,000 kilograms in 2022, demonstrates the country's significant contribution to global gold production. Despite this significant output, the country's lack of gold reserves and the disproportionate revenues generated from its extraction present a stark reality. Since 2018, the entry of Australian companies such as Gold Rush Resources, Griffin Minerals, Orbeez Gold Limited, and Golden Rin Resources into Burkina Faso's gold exploration landscape has signaled a potential shift in the country's resource management. Despite the widespread presence of measured and indicated gold deposits across Burkina Faso mining sites, the extraction process continues to see the rapid exportation of all mined gold out of the country, eventually ending up in European bank vaults. This scenario represents a watershed moment for Burkina Faso, highlighting the country's vast, yet largely untapped, natural resource potential. The presence of foreign firms engaged in exploration activities indicates a potential shift in the utilization of Burkina Faso's resources, providing opportunities for the country to capitalize on its abundant mineral wealth and potentially alter the historical trend in which external entities benefit disproportionately from its resources. The challenge, however, remains in ensuring that the wealth generated by these resources results in meaningful development and prosperity for the nation and its people. The significant gold and other mineral reserves present a transformative opportunity for Burkina Faso's trajectory. Captain Abraham Troor's desire to reclaim control of the country's resources raises the prospect of equitable distribution and utilization of gold and other vital minerals to benefit Burkina Faso and its people. This watershed moment has the potential to redirect the wealth generated by the land's resources back into the country, fostering internal growth, sustainable development, and shared prosperity within Burkina Faso. The prospect of Burkina Faso Managing its own resources represents a significant shift in the country's economic and social landscape. If implemented successfully, this autonomy could allow the country to use its natural resources to drive economic development, 
create local opportunities, invest in infrastructure, education, and healthcare, and promote a more equitable distribution of wealth among its citizens. Gaining control of its resources can mark a watershed moment in Burkina Faso's evolution from a nation exploited for its wealth to one that leverages its own wealth for the benefit of its people and future generations. Burkina Faso has the opportunity to capitalize on its gold mining potential, generating revenue internally and fostering economic independence by shifting away from reliance on foreign entities. By taking control of its resources, the government can create jobs for its citizens in the mining sector and other related industries, allowing the generated income to stay within its borders. This strategic move would not only strengthen the country's financial stability, but it would also contribute to a more robust and self-sufficient economy. Ibrahim Troor's visionary strategy goes beyond gold mining, with the goal of reshaping Burkina Faso's economic landscape by diversifying investments and fostering growth across multiple sectors. Prioritizing ventures other than gold mining implies a deliberate focus on growing industries such as agriculture, manufacturing, and technology. The government can catalyze job creation, strengthen economic resilience, and stimulate overall growth by encouraging the development of these sectors. This multifaceted approach aims to reduce Burkina Faso's reliance on a single industry, ensuring a more balanced and sustainable economic foundation. Captain Abraham Troor's strategic vision entails a fundamental shift in power dynamics, allowing Burkina Faso to chart its own economic course. The intention to keep gold resources within the country represents a fundamental shift toward economic self-determination, with the goal of harnessing these resources for the benefit of the entire population. This strategy envisions leveraging gold wealth to eliminate poverty, foster inclusive growth, and provide opportunities, particularly for the country's youth, paving the way for Burkina Faso to have a more prosperous and equitable future. Implementing such a strategy in Burkina Faso will be difficult given the complexities of the global economic environment. It necessitates astute decision-making, resilient governance structures, and active international collaboration. Negotiating the complexities of economic independence and resource management necessitates strategic planning, effective policies, and the ability to navigate global economic dynamics while protecting the country's interests. The path to economic autonomy would necessitate a concerted effort to build strong systems that prioritize internal development while navigating the complexities of global trade and economic interdependence. Despite the formidable obstacles, the potential dividends of this transformation are enormous, offering a promising future for Burkina Faso and its people. While the road ahead may be difficult, Burkina Faso's determination to break free from exploitation and eradicate poverty remains firm. The pursuit of economic autonomy is motivated by a vision of a more equitable, prosperous, and self-sufficient future for the country, instilling hope for a brighter tomorrow despite the challenges ahead. Captain Abraham Troor's unwavering commitment to empowering the people of Burkina Faso and steering the country toward a brighter future serves as a beacon of hope in the fight against the resource curse. His commitment embodies a vision that goes beyond the current constraints imposed by gold mining dominance, aiming to free the nation and its people from economic constraints. Trora's unwavering pursuit of a better and more prosperous Burkina Faso represents a break from the cycle of reliance on external entities, imagining a future in which the country uses its resources for internal development and collective growth. Burkina Faso's heavy reliance on gold mining in essence perpetuates a narrow economic spectrum and a cycle of external dependency. Ibrahim Troor's audacious proposal to reclaim sovereignty over the country's resources represents a daring step toward breaking free from this pattern. Troor's vision aims to create a more self-sufficient Burkina Faso by prioritizing national development and promoting economic diversification, fostering hope for a future in which the country can steer its destiny towards prosperity and inclusive growth beyond the confines of a single industry. Burkina Faso's independence from external entities provides an opportunity to realize its full potential, fostering long-term prosperity and improving citizens' well-being. However, achieving this goal will present a formidable challenge, 
regaining control of all gold mines within its borders. Captain Abraham Troer's strategic vision is to strengthen the nation's sovereignty while ensuring that the benefits of gold mining stay within the country's borders. However, to navigate the complexities of resource management and global economic dynamics, this aspiration necessitates meticulous planning, effective governance, and international collaboration. Ibrahim Troor's strategy is poised to strengthen Burkina Faso's autonomy and secure the benefits of gold mining for the country's advancement. Realizing this goal, however, requires astute leadership capable of navigating both domestic complexities and international engagements in order to protect the country's interests. To transform Burkina Faso's economic landscape and ensure that the wealth generated from its resources contributes to the nation's growth and prosperity, a comprehensive approach incorporating careful planning, robust governance structures, and strategic collaboration with the international community is required. If Burkina Faso is successful in regaining control of its gold mines, it may set a precedent for other African countries facing similar challenges. The Troy Plan's success could act as a catalyst, prompting other African governments to reconsider their relationships with European corporations that have historically exploited their resources. This paradigm shift may result in a revaluation of power dynamics in resource extraction agreements, potentially shifting the balance of control and benefit in favor of African nations. While it may be premature to predict the end of Europe's affluence based solely on Burkina Faso's initiatives, Troar's proposal reflects a growing awareness and determination among African governments to assert greater authority over their resources. This initiative represents a growing trend across the continent, highlighting a growing desire among African nations to seek more equitable partnerships and reclaim ownership of their valuable resources, potentially reshaping global resource exploitation dynamics in the long run. The potential shift in Burkina Faso's resource management, as envisioned by Troy, represents a potential turning point in addressing the long-standing issue of African resource exploitation. However, because of the complexity and interconnectedness of the global economic system, reshaping these dynamics presents a formidable challenge. Implementing meaningful reforms to protect Burkina Faso's resources from external exploitation necessitates navigating a complex web of global economic complexities. Troar's vision's success is dependent on a number of factors, including the country's political will, economic stability, and international collaboration. Furthermore, European corporations and governments' reactions and responses to Burkina Faso's initiatives will have a significant impact on the outcome. The manner in which these external entities interact with and respond to Burkina Faso's efforts to reclaim control of its resources will be critical in determining the efficacy and success of this transformational endeavor. Do you believe that Burkina Faso should retake control of the gold mines inside its borders? Is Triare's concept a possible watershed moment for you? Consider it and feel free to discuss it in the comments area. Remember to subscribe to this channel for more educational films on Africa. Thank you for viewing and I'll see you in the future video.